Uh, last night I, uh, what did I do? I watched some TV stuff and, oh, stopped the movie from recording and then um, uh, went and watched the news and stuff and then I, I don't know why, but there's this little voice in my head, you know, watch the late night talk show things if there's somebody you're, you know of. Right? It just so happened Megan the Stallion was on Fallon, right? And the New York Liberty and stuff. And so I sit there and I watch it. Okay, okay. Like, all right, man, I get it. So it's like, what? I do know that the temple is set in Illuminati that, you know, Dave Rockefeller, you know, that they'll till the bitter end. But I think I know people better than he does. I think I know people better than, than Dave Rockefeller does. David Rockefeller knows them by spying on them and studying them like they're animals, like a neuroscientist or a neurobiologist. Yeah. Or, you know, Leonard and his, I mean, Sheldon and Leonard's mother, you know, a boss Nate and a Tate, you know, and stuff. And <laughs> that's how they know them. Well, you're only doing this because your hypothalamus is doing your flipper flamus on your leper. Isn't that great the way, uh, you know, God puts things together? I just, you know. Like, you know, the way we just, you know, the way that, you know, we turn each other on. You and me, let's get away, having a ball, right? And so <laughs> I'm just, I'm sitting there watching this stuff and I'm like, I can't stand the Temple Set Illuminati. And I'm like, you know, it's, I, I look forward to being with a woman and being able to be myself, you know, just all the time whenever I want to be, you know. Man, no, because, Amy, you talk yourself out of more pussy, but it was like, you know, because she required, okay? She, she thought I was thuggish, ruggish when we got together, and then around her parents, I had to be Magoo. And then so she's, but she wanted me about all the time. And then, you know, and, and I can't help myself, okay? Hey, Missy Plissy, you're my Plissy Plissy Boo. That's, I, I am just that way with, with little kiddos, you know, when we have fun and stuff. I will talk to them like an adult, like my mom did to me, but I still have the fun. You know, the Chuji Bear songs and the, you know, and, and, and when I'm playing video games with Amir and, and, and Jose and Patrick, Mir, don't drink no beer, Pat, don't be a brat, Jose, don't run away. I mean, I'm stupid. I am just a stupid person. <laughs> it's like, you know, I, it's just, I am all right. Don't nobody worry about me. Why they got to give me a fight so I don't they just let me be. <laughs> you know, that's how I am. I'm just I'm retarded. <laughs> so I got to be myself, you know, so I got to have fun. And uh, <laughs> I don't have multiple personalities. I just, it's me. You know, I just got to be me. And I hate it when people sit there and, and they require, you know, you feel like um, Merle Haggard on uh, I can't be myself when I'm with you. You, know, you don't like the clothes I wear on Sundays, and you know so. And so, you know, I believe the Lord knows I'm unhappy because I can't be myself when I'm with you. And it's it's true, you know. You get a lot of people, and it's weird because they always say that to you. You know, it's you. You're always this, and you're crying. It's like, the oh, fuck I do. Just get the fuck on about it. Shit, no, that's bullshit, right? And you got to realize, you know, when, when people do that to you, shit, that shit do to you. You know, shit. You know, they, they'd be like, um, uh, damn Xbox turned out. I don't know how the fuck it did that, but, um, uh, well, yeah, I do. I live in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Things turn on. Now I got weird shit going on with my shit, man. I got email. I get two emails a month. Mm -hmm. Two emails. One to two emails a month. Okay. My dad like gets 10,000 a day. Well, I don't have a credit card, but <laughs> just, no, I, get, I have friends tell me, you know, it's harder to get a hold of you than it is to get a hold of the Pope. Well, the Pope's an idiot. I'm not. So, you know, it's just, you know, all the idiots that make the Pope a multimillionaire and a conclave make sure that it's hard to get a hold of me, right? <laughs> so, so, fuck, right? But <sighs> it's crazy. But I was sitting there watching the shit and understanding the, trying to better understand the shit, you know, and last night I... I looked at a lot of things and looked at the the people that call themselves law enforcement. So you're law enforcement, huh? Wow, gravity. So how is photosynthesis? <laughs> what? You're not law enforcement. No. You're genocide operations. Okay? That's what you are. Have you ever read Plato's Republic? Okay. You're genocide operations. That's what it says in Plato's Republic. 
The police shouldn't want to be police. Okay, People should have, be able to police themselves. The Republic will destroy itself through delusions of grandeur. This is essentially what it says in Plato's Republic. I haven't read it all. I just, I just perused it a bit. Boring. Boring. It's very boring. So I can denote boring. I Thoreau, I adore Thoreau. He's boring as hell. Okay? He's one of those type of guys that will sit down for 40 days and 40 nights and tell you exactly what's happening with the bird and the tree and where's the game and watch the the, 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 pe- the woodpecker and he went over there and it's whatever it is and I can't do that. Oh Lord, I don't have the patience. I will watch them, you know. I've watched the spiders do their things and stuff, you know, sometimes in winter. And so, but I mean, I watch and shit, but I, I don't, you know, I don't obsess and compulse on things. I'm not an excessive compulsive person. I'm a very healthy person, you know. I'm kind of like Penny with exercising, you know, remember Sheldon will do this and do that and just, no, I just run till I get tired and then I get a bear claw, right? That That's me, right? <laughs> well, let's go outside. Let's get rid of it. Hey, I'm tired. Look, let's go get a bear claw. That's that's me. All right? <laughs> I'm not this excessive, compulsive, anal retainer person. I'm like, someone does that to me. It's like, fuck. No, but I'm, I'm, I am. A, see the mess right there? I put that all the way. But um, Amy had its off dropout disease. Amy was just a complete train wreck. You know, she was Amy, a- Amy Winehouse and Amy Faber. About the same, right? And so, but... Um, <laughs> With me, I'm like, just put that back. Put this, wash that, do that. You know, I'm a semi-organized person, okay, who's not excessive and compulsive. Okay. It's just like, we'll put that back so you know where to get it. Clean that up. To, no, just, let's wash the dishes before we go to bed. And when I'm depressed, I don't wash the dishes. I sometimes get behind in my laundry, but I like doing my laundry because don't you like the smell of clean laundry? Like that lady on the game commercial and shit, you know what I mean? And so you'd be like, oh, that smells, and people be drying their clothes and you go check the mail. Oh, somebody's doing their dryer. You can smell the dry. It smells good. They got, I wonder what their dry sheet is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just be, I'm being silly, y'all. But, um, <laughs> shit. But it's like, you know, I was sitting there looking at this stuff in the temple set Pupunati, and I, I, you know, I know the temple set Luminati's days are numbered. They're, they're, they're like a dinosaur. I know that. But I think Rockville is wrong about the bitter end shit. I think some of the people that are in that group of timeless and fucktards and stuff are like, I didn't know what the fuck I was getting into. <laughs> you motherfuckers are crazy. They like Cat Williams and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> You go in the room and they be doing shit like, ah! You're like, oh, goddamn. Young men came out of their house screaming and holding their assholes. Right. And so you be like, oh, these motherfuckers are crazy. And me, I never know. And Amy got into that stuff, but they groomed her. And uh, it wasn't hard to do. My generation, we didn't have Howard Stern and Snoop Dogg and, and, and NWA and world's biggest thing. No, stop, don't. We didn't have none of that shit. Okay, if we did have shit like that, it was like, oh, is they talking about this? It was like underground albums, like you know, I love a girl who likes it in the poop shoot. No, no, no. There might be some health reasons if you're constipated. The man's got real strong DNA, but that would only be if he, you know, he'd only do it like once or twice till you clean it out. And then, okay, that's, that's a straight pussy, baby, straight pussy. Uh, blowjobs, oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I do. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was raised Mormon. So the horrible sex concept was not good for me. I mean, I thought I knew as a guy, yeah, I want that. I thought that'd be nice. But um, I didn't, you know, the girl, you know, it's like, well, that's where we pee. I didn't want to because I was like, you know, I don't want to ask a girl to do that. I pee out of there, right? I love her. I'm going to kiss her. I'm going to kiss her after. Oh, is that, it's like sucking your own penis. That's like, that ain't cool. But it's like, but women like you to go down there. So it's like, oh, they like you to go down there. But that's where they pee. Are we like building our immune systems or trying to kill ourselves early? I don't know, Sid and Nancy, you tell me. So, you know, we're like sitting there. But it was a, it was a bisexual from Syracuse, New York that talked me into Rocky and to do that, right? And it was fun. Well, we had fun. You know, just she liked it. And you know and I liked it too. And but uh but um you know, it was different and <laughs> she, my friends, yeah, I tried to you know, keep her safe from most of my friends things. But yeah, I, I did a fairly good job, but she was, she was real option that one time with the cocaine upstairs and all that. And I got mad and she got, she came, she apologized to me. I didn't know that's what they were doing up there. I was like, yeah, maybe if you listened, <laughs> that, 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 that might help baby girl. <laughs> 
But see, I always had that trouble with black, black, black women, you know. They're very tribal. And they feel like they're betraying their people when they're dating a white guy that treats them better and is better than bed than the thoughtless asshole that fucks them. Yeah. You know, a very considerate, a king of floor. Oh, yeah, king of wishful thinking. No, <laughs> no, but but I was I was very athletic and very energetic. I was one of the best athletes in the history of the world. So none of my wives or my fiancés could ever satisfy me sexually. You know, and then um, because I had a good reputation, the military just destroyed me with it and abused me. And now they've literally tried to destroy my body. So I can't, you know, and I, I used to depress me if Amy was like, you think this is great. You should have had me when the law was, whoa, yeah. <laughs> should have had me in my prime <laughs> before the military, you know, put shit in my food and fucked with me and, get, you know, stuff. Yeah, when they were studying me at first, oh, this, apparently this guy's great. Yeah, great and bad. <laughs> awesome and bad. <laughs> reputation, wonderful reputation for it stuff. And Amy, you know, hands are like magic, you know, stuff. I was like, well, you know, it's probably the way the Holy Spirit works through my body, so it makes sense. But um, I think that'll change a lot in all people once people accept the Lord's prayer and start living the way of the Lord. You know, so so it won't be a thing like, I wish I was having sex with him. No, you don't. <laughs> and most women that are mean and aggressive and abusive, they don't like me, and I don't like them. And so I was sitting there thinking about a lot of this stuff. And um, uh, I looked at the dynamic of some of the things the scientists were discussing and the possibilities of extraterrestrials and stuff like that. And um, we gravitate towards what we do. And I told you guys, we don't, I'm not a dictator and the Messiah is not a dictator. And so if people, you know, don't want to go in a certain direction or do want to go, in a certain, whatever happens, happens. If you go, I think the people that are aggressive and don't enjoy intimacy and are just sexual and manipulative and abusive need to go to where they would get to a red s uh oh that makes sense it was a tribe in africa that's very sexually aggressive abusive that has the red star where the sun where they say they came from and it's because it comes from a, that direction the people that are more like jesus and me and hey Selassie, um went in the other direction Okay. And I think they need to have like a queen and be not have their sex organs and stuff because they can't handle the responsibility of that precious gift. I think that's what's going on. That's what nature dictates, you know. So, you know, that's the mandates of it. So I think that's what's going on. So we'll load this one up. I just didn't want to talk to y'all because I'm sick of talking to you because you listen like shit. But I love you. Okay. Peace, man. <laughs>